we're going to be going through the manual muscle test and then length for serratus anterior. So again, we're going to describe the action of serratus anterior and then go through its resistance. Its primary action is going to be protraction, so bringing that scapula forward. So we're going to be using this arm as a lever. Its secondary action is to help out with a little bit of elevation and upward rotation. So in a previous video, you may have watched Pec minor does protraction in a downward motion, but because we're bringing the arm up, this is more protraction in a upward rotated position. So that's going to be more what serratus anterior does. Again, it's fairly common. You may have seen us in movie references that a person does what's known as a one inch punch. So with the arm locked straight, if they lift their fist up, that would be the action of serratus anterior going through that. We're going to take away the lever though, and we're just going to be having them raise their elbow up towards the hand. So this is going to make it easier for me to do my resistance. If I resisted all the way from the fist, I would end up having some pressure in the wrist, in the elbow, as well as the femoral scapula thoracic. But we're going to take away the others and just have the resistance through the arm itself and the humerus. Okay. So again, one more time, active range of motion. Good. I'm going to be asking him to lift it up as I push down. So you can use two hands if you need to to stabilize. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then again, starting from that flat position, he's going to push up against resistance all the way through that motion. Excellent. Now the length for serratus anterior is going to be a little bit tricky, but can be done in two different positions. So the first thing I'm going to ask is for my partner to turn on the side facing away from me. So again, a similar position. I'm going to go through by trying to passively retract the scapula. So I'm actually going to reach through the arm, cupping the glenohumeral joint with one hand to make sure I have it completely in my hand. And I'm going to take the other hand and I'm going to hold his spine. So as I passively retract, he's not rolling with me. So I'm going to hold him in place as I passively retract that scapula as far as it can go. So that's one of our length positions. Again, protraction into a retraction position. Now the other option is if I have my person go into a prone position. So he's going to lay face down. I'm going to reach across to the opposite shoulder here. So very similar. Again, bringing the arm slightly out, you're going to ask permission to put your hand inside the axilla. I'm going to reach underneath, cup the front of that glenohumeral joint, and with my opposite hand, I'm going to hold down the spine as I passively retract and lift that scapula up. I prefer to use this method myself because I feel the body is quite a bit more stable, and I just have to hold them flat as I lean back and lift that scapula into retraction. So this can be a good stretch if held for a long period of time as well. So that's going to conclude the manual muscle test and length for serratus anterior.